Hi there, Dave here from Invoice Ninja. Today I'd like to show you some of the features in our latest release. The first is our integration with GoCardless Nordigen, which now gives you access to over 3,000 European banks. To connect, head into Settings, Credit Cards and Banks, and you can use the Connect Accounts button. And you'll see now there's the GoCardless option, which is predominantly for European banks, and also the Yodli connection, which is for predominantly US-based banks. The next one is our improvements to our email providers. And inside here, you now have the ability to configure your own SMTP server so that all emails that uh, are sent via Invoice Ninja can use your SMTP server. We've also integrated with Mailgun. So if you do want to stay with one of our hosted solutions, you can choose between either Postmark or Mailgun. The next feature is our reports. And inside here, there's a lot of expanded functionality. So you'll see now when you select a report, there are some additional options. If there are any documents attached, these can now be sent with the report as well. And you also have some additional filters for additional granularity. The best part though, is you can now schedule reports. From here, you can configure when to start, how often to run, and how many cycles you wish this to run for. And you can just leave it on endless for forever. And then click Save. The next features are just some quality of life improvements, but they are pretty impactful. The first is in transactions. And previously in Invoice Ninja, to match and convert an expense, you would have to go through individually and assign the category and the vendor. Well, not anymore. Now you can bulk assign. So for example, here we have two uh, expenses, which are both fuel category. So we can select both of these, create the expense and assign the fuel category. And this will create those two expenses for you with the, exp with the fuel category assigned. Also within expenses, there's now the ability to bulk update categories. Simply select them use the change category and then click save. You can also click on the category directly and modify the category from there as well. The last one is our invoice import templates. And what does that mean? Well, if you regularly import CSV files into Invoice Ninja, and they typically have the same format, you can now store that mapping directly in the application. So we'll run through a quick demo here of how that works. So you'd start off by dragging your CSV file over, and you can see Invoice Ninja does a pretty good job of mapping the columns already. This last one here doesn't map the PO number. So we can set this PO number here, and then click Import. And now the app will ask you whether you want to save this template mapping. Let's go through and we'll call this our PO mapping and click save. Now the next time you want to import that exact same file, head into import, drag it in. You can see it hasn't matched again here, but if we can now select that mapping and we'll go through and configure your mapping for you and just import. So a very nice quality of life on there for you.